Victoria for the first round of the Stanley Group N National South African Saloon Car Championship. It should have been the second round, but unfortunately the first round in East London was cancelled due to surface problems on the track. This series has brought, uh, has attracted three of the major motor manufacturers to the racing and of course the big battle is in Class A between the BMWs and, and the Opals. It's going to be a tough series. We've got 19 of them entered. They're down the grid. Let's get on with the action. And rolling on to pole position, Michael Briggs in the Opal, just comma 04 of a second faster than Tony Viana in the Winfield BMW. Nice mix of motor cars, 10 of the fastest road going Opel cadets in the world and a fairly unique 2.7 litre BMW, the 325S. And the BMW known to get its power on the ground very quickly off the line. It's a quick starter as Tony Viana proves as they go away on the first of 15 laps. It's 400 metres to Continental Corner. It's Michael Briggs in the inside, but Viana's got the advantage. And that's the traffic jam. You can't afford to make a mistake in this one as they bump and barge the way through. Jeff Goddard tips the back of Farouk Danga, sends him spinning to the outside of the circuit. John Craig from Cape Town makes his way across the felt, but the whole field gets safely through Continental, and the race is on in a big way. A super competitive field in the front. Tony Viano in Winfield BMW behind him. Michael Briggs looking for a place to come through as they hit 200 kilometres an hour down the gear. As they go down through Citizen Sweep and start making their way up through the Champion Hill, it's these cars at full stretch. It's a BMW and an Opel. BM and Opel and another BMW and an Opel. The field is very evenly matched. Here's Michael Briggs, right on Tony Viana's toes. They come down through Sabre. He's looking for a place to pass. He gets right under the wing of the BMW. He finds his chances here down the Michelin Strait. And he's got the inside line and a car length as he makes his way to Continental to the great cheers of this big gallery on this corner. This is what it looks like from Robbie's, Robbie Smith's car in uh, third position. Briggs in the front. Uh, Tony Viana clipping those corners, taking the tightest line he can, hanging on to the Opal just in front of him. It's just two car lengths up to fourth, to fifth and 200 kilometres an hour. Here they come out of uh, Bosel Corner, making their way down to Sabat Sweep. It's Michael Briggs under a second ahead of Tony Viana. The JCN BMW has got Roddy Turner from Cape Town overdoing it there as he comes through. And Dion Jaber is looking for a way through. As he comes through and gets past Roddy Turner, D Dion Jaber makes his way into fourth position and the fight is on between these two Cape Town drivers. Jaber, a new Springbok in saloon car racing, also a karting and a Formula 4 champion. Roddy Turner's got to make other plans. Robbie Smith now has got Dion Jaber worrying him all the way down as they touch the brakes, go down a gear, down through Citizen Sweep. It's Robbie Smith again and Dion Jaber on the climb up Champion Hill to Bozel. He makes it on the inside. On the brakes, just a touch of those brakes as he tightens the line through. It's a very tricky section and Roddy Turner through it as well. So the two Cape Town drivers in just 100 metres have got past uh, Robbie Smith. And Robbie Tony Viana is looking for first position. He shoulders Michael Briggs out of the way. This is the last lap and it's mirror to mirror as they come down to save that sweep. And Michael Briggs got the tighter line. That's the better one on the way to the flag. And it's just comma two of a second as they cross the line. And you can't get him much closer than that. Dion Jaber third and right behind him, Roddy Turner, Robbie Smith and Leon Murray. And that had the adrenaline pumping in the crowd. It was the Opal day and they were very thrilled with that result. But not without great pressure from the BMW. And with 60 cars entered for the Stanley Group in racing, it's very popular the sports car club to split the races in three. Here's the classes for the 2 litre down to 1600 B, C and D with the Uno Turbos having not, not much opposition, one and two uh, ahead in Class C, but behind in Class B, it's Martinez Briers in the Golf, putting the pressure there on uh, Neil Stevens from Port Elizabeth in the Opal. Tracked exhaust or not, that Golf was really attacking from all sides. Neil Stevens, the better line as he comes down through Sabre and goes into the uh, Michelin Strait. Grant McCleary in the 1600 CC Opal, having not much problem in this class, winning by four seconds from his teammate from Cape Town, Brian Gilmore in the 160. More action up at Bosel. Chris Clark in the Moby Jack Toyota having a moment as the two Uno, Uno Turbos gave a demonstration in the front of class and came home to a popular win with their many fans in this former racing. And with no known team instructions, the 18 starters lined up for the second heat. Hannah Scrobler intent in beating this man, Nick Deval, the winner of the first race. Grand Prix style starting line and away they went. Nice big field of 18 motor cars. They headed down the Michelin Strait on their way down to Conti. Nick Deval on the left hand side of the screen. Hannah Scrobler has the jumper in this time as they go for the brake markers. He runs out of road, goes across the felt. He goes on his two wheels, touches his teammate Nick Deval as the other members of the uh, race come streaming through. And that's Hannah Scrobler right at the back of the field. 
This allows Neil Stevens to go to the front. They've been challenged down the uh, Ultimate straight into Citizen. It's Neil Stevens holds his line in the Opal. He's from Port Elizabeth. Nick Duvall's from Cape Town. On their tails. Uh, Martinez Breers, then it's Grant McCleary and Brian Gilmore. Still Neil Stevens, Nick Duvall looking for a way to come through. It's a wide opal that he's going to try and pass and he looks in his mirrors and he sees Breers right on his tail. No advantage here through the corners at all as it tends to lift its wheels through these tighter corners. And the turbo known to get its speed as the turbo comes in further down the straight. And there you see it happening as he starts to stream away from the opal. Nick Duvall has gone to the front of this large field but Stevens hanging in there through the corners. Almost on two wheels comes uh, Nick Duvall through the up the Champion Hill into Bozal and attacking is Martinez Breers a tighter line. He rubs mirrors there with Neil Stevens, but Stevens holds on to his position. Still being followed there by Breers. The exhaust pipe back in position now. Tight line through Continental Corner. And Breers has got him. He got into the inside. He left an opening there and Breers came through. Stevens goes onto the dirt. No touching that time. And Breers has got to the front of Class B. And having it all his own way at the front of the field, Nick Duvall going for his second win of the day. But Martinez Breers not giving up, still attacking. Neil Stevens staying there, third overall. So let's have a look at the results of these three classes. Nick Duvall, a double for the day in the Uno Turbo and a new lap record. Neil Stevens doing enough to finish 1,7 seconds ahead of the former motocrosser Martinez Breers and Grant McCleary winning class last day cars. Late arrival on the grid, Michael Brick takes up pole position. Grand Prix starting lights once again. The BMW moves away first as it gets its power to the road as they go down the Michelin Strait into Continental Corner. This time, action replay of the last race. Tony Viana into the lead there. A little further back there, my, uh, Neil Brink, the engineer from Pretoria, gets moved out of the way. So does John Craig. That's his second off of the day as the others bump and barge their way through that point. But it's Tony Viana. He's worried by Michael Briggs. This is the way it was before. He knows all the tricks now, does Viana. He keeps a very wide Winfield BMWs. He comes up to Champion Hill. Dion Joubert is next. Roddy Turner, Robbie Smith, Leon Murray, and then all the others down into the Sabre Sweep. It's Michael Briggs looking left, looking right as they slide out of there and come towards the start finish. Briggs thinks he's got it on the right hand side. Looking back from Viana's car, he tries on the left. Heavy on the brakes. A few stones there going up from Viana's back wheels as they go tight around Continental Corner and start accelerating where this lovely throaty sound of the sixth cylinder BMW. Up through third, fourth, fifth, up to 200 kilometers an hour. Getting away from Briggs, he gains about five meters there as he leaves Continental Corner. But on the way down to Citizen Sweep, it's Briggs closing back on Viana's tail. Those tyres are at full stretch as they come down through there and start up the Champion Hill. Not far behind is Dion Joubert being worried by his fellow Cape Townian Roddy Turner. It's Robbie Smith, Leon Murray, very competitive in there as well. This is what it looks like from Robbie Smith, JSN BMW, out of Bozal. Ahead of him, Roddy Turner and Dion Joubert. Just ahead of them, Michael Briggs looking to pass Tony Viana. Down through the tight saber sweep, they climb the hill up the Michelin straight to the start finish line. And Neil Briggs still getting lots of attention from the Winfield BMW of Hannes Ursaison. But Michael Briggs still not able to find a way past Tony Viana as he goes into Continental Corner. On the left side of this arena, the BMW management in the Conti stand. On the other side of the arena, the Opel management cheering on their team as well. The order is Viana and Briggs. It's Dion Joubert and Roddy Turner as they get into the final stage of this race. And still... Hannes Ursaisen giving the Moby Jack Opel lots of attention as they exit the tight continental quarter. But in the front, Briggs is trying to the left, he's trying to the right. Viana is keeping his BMW very wide as they exit Bosel Corner. Down the hill to the Sabat Sweep. This is where Briggs did it the last time as we get into the final stages of this race. He takes that tighter line, clips under that tree, gets his windscreen peppered there with stones as Gina Remedini, this young engineer from BMW, loses his motorcar into the tyre wall and he puts it over onto his door. Well, that's a great pity. As coming to the line, Tony Viana in the BMW takes it by comma one of a second ahead of Michael Briggs with the Dion Jubin in third position. As they shake but unhurt, Gina Remendini emerges from his motorcar. Let's have a look at the overall results. And when they added the times of the two races together, Michael Briggs, after 30 laps of racing, won it in the Opal by just comma two of a second. You can't get it much closer than that. Tony Viana in the Winfield BMW, a new lap record ahead of the new Springbok, Dion Joubert. All the action of Stanick Group End Racing will be at Kalani Racetrack on Saturday the 7th of September.